Welcome to today's Arttober activity. My name's Elizabeth. And I'm Twyla. And today we're going to do an artwork inspired by our favorite fall book, The Little Old Lady Who Is Not Afraid of Anything. For this art project, you're going to need some tape, some twist ties, some crayons, glue sticks, and paper. We have um, construction paper, but you can use other things, and scissors. And I have some pre-made um, stuff just to make it like... And Twyla's going to make the artwork as I read the story. The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams, illustrated by Megan Lloyd. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a little sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. All right, what's our first step, Twyla? So our first step is to make the path that she is walking on. So what you want to do is get some brown paper, or you can color some paper brown. Cut a strip of it off. You might want to save some for her cottage, too. So I'm not going to do that because it's not long enough. But this one is perfect. And I'm just going to go like that. And just run it through like that. All right, and we have our pathway. And we have our pathway to set up her adventure on. Okay. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And the shoes went clomp, clomp. So, so what do we do now? So what you do now is you just kind of cut off the extracts of the shoes. Show that she's drawn, show your shoes. There you go, there's the I've shoes. I've pre-drawn some shoes, and then we pre-cut some tape. And um, what I'm gonna do is take a twist tie, um, put the tape on the back of the twist tie, and um, attach it like that, and then attach this there. And if there's any extra tape, kind of pull it over there. Go like this, get another piece of tape, Attach it to the side of the path. So it's kind of like a pop-up book. Yep. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked down the path, but behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled onto a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on, but behind her she could hear. What's next? So what you do is you just, I pre-drawn some pants, but you can draw your own, or print out, or cut out of the magazine, some really, really cool pants and shoes for this project to make it be like more real, but I'm just drawing mine because that's what we're doing right and just get that off, grab a twist tie, get some tape, um, take your um, twist tie and just attach this there and just kind of wrap it up, wrap the tape up and then you'll just want to go like that. No, take this. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> And just go like, okay. And you have your second signpost. And behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake shake. Why don't you cut out the shirt while I read the rest? Get out of my way, you silly shirt! I'm not afraid of you," said the little old lady. And on she walked a little bit faster. And this is the shirt that I have pre-cut and pre-drawn. So I just have to grab a little twist tie and get some tape. And put the tape, twist tie on the tape. And just go like this. And then you just go like that. 
grab this and paste it on there. Okay. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, and one shirt go shake shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. Can you show us those? Yep. Okay, why don't you go ahead and get those ready while I read the rest of this. And the gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves. Go ahead and put them on there. <clears throat> and you tall black hat, I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked just a little bit faster. Sorry, I just dropped it there on the, but you can just make a black hat and then you just kind of. And I'll put the gloves on for you. Like this, like that. And just make the side post and then you tape it on her road. And you can just kind of put it anywhere that you want. Just kind of a sleeve. Okay. And there's the gloves. I'm just going to put the gloves over here. Okay. Going like that. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. One hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge very orange and very scary pumpkin head great and we're gonna put that on there you just have to cut out a little pumpkin or get one out in the magazine just get a little pumpkin out and just like cut it i'm bubble cutting and um just kind of put it on there grab a piece of tape and just attach this like that and just kind of attach it like that. Okay. And then you can go like fold it back or fold it front. And you can get a piece of tape and you can kind of make it, I'm gonna kind of make mine like lean over the top. Okay. Because, and the head went boo, boo. This time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all, she ran. But behind her she could hear, two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. So what's next? Um, now we are going to make the cottage. And from the road, we hopefully still have a little piece of brown paper. Just cut off a piece of brown paper and leave a centimeter, about a centimeter of space, um, free. And then you'll wanna, you can make your roof. And then my cottage is gonna be pretty small, but, and then I'm just gonna make some windows and a door. And then I'm just gonna cut mine out. And don't cut off the little centimeter of space because you're gonna fold it on, whoopsie daisy. Because you're just gonna fold it on the space. And that is how you are going to, sorry, that's just your dog, Trixie. Um, and um, there you have your cottage. And um, and now she sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. 
It was so quiet in her cottage before the on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything, so she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clap clap, one hat go nod nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night, closed the door and whistled on her way to bed. Let me go get our little old lady. The next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and looked into her garden and what do you think she saw? So now let's take the shoes. And now you just, you might have not wanted to put the tape on too. Do the shoes right? first. Oh yeah. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt goes shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. And one scary hound pumpkin head go boo, boo. And maybe I'll just take them off like this. Then we have A and scare all the crows away. A scarecrow! <laughs> I mean, who was expecting that? <laughs> so thanks for joining us for the little old lady who's not afraid of anything. You can also make different things, like you can make a pop-up haunted, haunted house. house. You could make a pop-up cottage. You can make all kinds of different pop-up things and take your artwork in the third dimension. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. That was the one that I did and that has a little bit of lighting. And enjoy your art-tober. Bye.